All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wa Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth. To the rest of the church who believe as well, including you men who may not be teachers or prophets. To you women, sons and daughters as well. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay? We are not doing this for nothing, and that's why we got to keep fighting. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai understands that we have desires. Okay? And we are going to receive our heart's desires. But right now, we're working. Okay? Right now, we're on that, um, you know, that, that spiritual salary. Eventually, we're going to be able to cash out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But right now, you know, we're doing the work. And there is a reward for this. But it's a natural feeling to wonder, okay, if I'm doing all this, I'm making all these sacrifices, I'm being hated by all these different people, I'm standing up for the Lord, and it's, it's such a burden, you know, dealing with these hard-headed knuckleheads out here, right? Well, at the end of the day, it's all a test, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is not a man to forget our works and our labor of love. So I want to go to Matthews chapter 19 and verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have therefore? So this is Peter asking Yahweh Shai, like, look, here it is. We're taking losses for you. But, uh, what are we going to get for all this? Am I doing this for nothing? You know, I got a wife. I got this going on. I got that going on. And here I am forsaking all these things for this ministry. What am I going to get in return? People looking at me weird. I'm out there teaching on the highways and byways. People not listening. Okay. Women that I could have had. Looking at me funny because of this. My old friends I grew up with. Looking at me funny because of this. You know, hey. That's all part of it. But we forsake this world. We do all these things. You know, for Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. We can't forget that. Okay. Um, dang, what's that scripture, man? Um, I, I think it's Philippians one and let me see. That's not it. Uh, let me think. There's a scripture that's coming to my mind. I want to get it. It's perfect for this lesson. Um, what is that? It's not Philippians. Ephesians. I'm going to type it in. You know, I'm going to type in some words and see what comes up. Here it is. It's Philippians 3 and 7. I was close. <laughs> but hey, I wasn't close enough. This is Philippians 3 and 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Mashiach. So the things that we once had in terms of you may have been real good as an athlete. You was going far in football. You forsook that for this ministry. 
You could have went far in music. You forsook that for this ministry. You used to be a man who had all these different women, popping all these different women. You ain't really doing it like that no more because you got a different spirit on you. Or a lot of the women you coming across, they got dudes. So you can't be that same man you once was and just pop them anyway. So it may cause you to run into a dry spell. So that can feel like another loss. You know, people looking at you weird at a distance, talking against you, laughing at you, making you the butt of the joke. All for your how was shy. People wanting to kill you. All for your how was shy. Your own children possibly looking at you as crazy and not wanting anything to do with you. All for your how was shy. You know, the list goes on. And some of those things may not apply to some of us, but nevertheless, we all have our own, um, we all have our own bottle of hell that we drinking on. We all have our own plate of hell that we're eating on. Okay. That's specifically custom made to our, um, our weaknesses and our strengths. Okay. So Philippians three and seven, but what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. So let's go back to Matthews 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? So here it is. We're counting all things loss for Yahweh Shai. So what will we get for this? Are we just doing this for nothing? This is what Yahweh Shai said. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily <clears throat> I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So we have a lot more to look forward to than what we have to lose. Okay, we can't even fathom, we can't even imagine the things that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has in store for us. But this flesh wants to have us thinking otherwise. See, this flesh wants to put you in the right now. The flesh wants to keep you in that state of mind of right now. You might be going through a tough moment right now, and your flesh wants you to just dwell on that. Your spirit is thinking about heavenly things, thinking about the future. Okay, so that's that's one thing against another. We have to focus more on uh, spiritual things, man. Because as of right now, currently, yeah, we're still in captivity. But our flesh would try to have us dwelling on that as if it's going to be like this forever. Hell no, it ain't going to be like this forever. The things that we're going through being in this truth, it ain't going to be like this forever. All the things that uh, we've counted loss for Yahweh Shai, man, we're going to get all that back a hundredfold. Basically, we're going to get everything back at an abundance so much, you you have no idea. You, you can't count right now how much you're going to get back in the kingdom. Okay? But we also got to pray. We also have to ask for things. You know, some brothers, you know, they... They get too over-righteous and they'll tell you, you know, you shouldn't be praying for women, which, okay, I, I get that to a degree. But if you a brother who mourning because you ain't got no woman, I mean, pray that the Lord give you a woman. But understand when you get that woman, you're going to catch hell there too. All right. But ultimately, we should be praying for uh, heavenly things, you know, praying for women in the kingdom, you know, claiming women now for the kingdom. That's better than praying for women right now. All right. Praying that the Lord keep the spirit on you. 
that you don't fall out. Okay, so that when uh, Yahweh Shai returns, you receive that crown and get your hundredfold that is to be given to you for the sacrifices you made. It will suck to make all these sacrifices just to fall out and go back into the world and you do it all for nothing. And then people still looking at you sideways like, hey, man, didn't you used to be one of them Israelites? And they still going to have that in the back of their mind two, three years later, man. Like, yeah, I remember when you was a part of that. So we ain't got nothing else to turn back to, man. We have a reward coming. All right. But uh, let me go to John. This is John chapter 16 and verse 23. And in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name, he will give it you. So come on, man. What do you mean? What are we going to get for this? You know, and we all may have that spirit of Peter on us at times, man. And Peter's the head of the church. All right. Under Yahweh Shai. Even Peter himself asked, hey, man, you know, I'm going through all this hell. I'm going through all this affliction. I'm making all these sacrifices. You know, what, what am I going to get out of this? <laughs> you know, and that's a logical question. That's, that wasn't Peter being wicked or, or trying to be um, uh, focused on carnal things, so to speak. No, that, that was a logical question. OK, but it's been answered. All right. The things that we lose on this side, we're going to get it all back. And even some of the things that we may not necessarily lose on this side, we're still going to have it in abundance in the kingdom. So let me close it out with this, man. You know, we got a reward. It's easy to fall in that spirit of, you know, what's the point? You know, which which that's Satan, you know, what's the point? Ain't nobody listening. You know, how long, you know, things that the prophets felt, but we have to endure all that, man. We have to keep going because we have far more coming to us than what we can even lose, man. So this is Ezra 9 and 13. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that thou, our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserve. And has given us such deliverance as this. So even until this day, we're not even being punished on the level that we should. So we should be thankful that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai not only gave us this truth, okay, but the fact that he didn't even punish us on a level that he could have and should have, but he showed mercy. But he showed mercy on us, man. So even seeing that we're not even worthy and that he's showing us mercy. Yeah, we might fall into that feeling of, man, you know, what are we going to get for this? Man, we're going to get everything for this. And you got to you got to always remember that you can't always fall in that spirit of right now because that's the flesh. The flesh wants you to think right now is all that matters. No, man, in the future, in the near future. We are going to be immortal, okay? Because we are the people of the covenant. We are the people of the Lord. All right? So it's beautiful that we're not even being punished on the level that we could for our iniquities. So we should work. That gives us more reason why we need to keep working. That gives us more reason on uh, believing that the Lord is fair. If he's not even doing to us what he could be doing to us, if he says he's going to give us a hundredfold, why, why would he lie to us through his son, through his only begotten son, his firstborn of all creation? All right. So we have everything to look forward to. So, you know, what will we get for this? We're going to get everything, man. We're going to get everything. You know, I got to get back to labeling my videos. You know, I've been in that spirit of just recording and just throwing them up there. But, yeah, I need to get back to, um, you know, labeling my videos. But I'm going to close it out right there. 
All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wa Rakakwadash. Shalom.